Okay, I'm going to shoot a little tutorial here on how to program your Casio VL tone. Not a lot of people know that uh, it actually has a little programming interface built into it uh, that you would never figure out on your own unless you read the manual. And uh, I've got two VL tones here. The top one uh, has a little cheat sheet that I printed out. Um, but uh, the LCD display on this is kind of shot, so I'm not going to use that one for the demo. I'm going to use this bottom one for the demo. Um, so basically it's a series of eight numbers that you can program in that control different parameters. Um, and uh, so the first thing you do is you turn this to calculator mode. That turns it on. And then you have to hit the MC button, which is this one right here. And then you start putting in your numbers. Now, one thing I noticed was that um, you'll see under sound waves. So the first number is your sound wave. And it says zero for piano, but um, I don't know. I've never been able to figure this out, but if you put in zero as the first number, it doesn't advance. So I'm not sure if there is some other way to access the piano waveform, but I haven't been able to figure that out. So I'm just going to start with um, waveform one, which is fantasy. So put in number one. Then the next parameter is attack time. So 0 through 9, 0 being the fastest and 9 being the slowest. So right now I'm just going to put 0 for fast attack. Decay time is the second number. Um, again, I'm just going to put in 0 for no decay time. Sustain level, I'm going to put at 9. So just have like a, a full sustain level. And then sustain time is actually um, mostly this is the decay rate. But the way it works is so zero is the fastest and nine is infinite sustain. But if you go from zero to eight, you just get increasing uh, decay times with nine being no decay at all. So right now I'm just going to put it at 9. And then release time is again like the uh, the re typical ADSR release time. So uh, I'm going to put that at 0. And vibrato and tremolo are um, two rates. So vibrato rate 0 being the fastest and 9 being the slowest and tremolo rate 0 being the fastest 9 being the slowest you can't control the depth of the vibrato or the tremolo just the rate so right now I'm just gonna put both those at 0 and then the next thing you do to put it in memory is to press the M plus key which is this one right here and then you have to switch this from calculator mode to play mode and you get your sound. Which is the fantasy wave just sustained on with no effects or anything. So, um, so I'm going to go through the different waves so that you can hear the different basic waveforms. And then I'll try a couple of the vibrato and tremolo effects. So we're going to put violin in next, which is two. And then zero, zero, nine, nine, zero, zero, zero. And then M plus. screwed that up. Let's try that again. Two, zero, zero, nine, nine, zero, 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 plus. Okay, 
that's the that's the violin wave. I screwed it up. Which is basically kind of a pulse wave. All right. Next one. Flute. So three zero zero nine nine zero zero zero. Here's the flute. Then guitar one four zero zero nine nine zero zero zero. Oh, wait, I screwed something up. Oh, I think I didn't press the M plus key. Okay. Four zero zero nine nine zero zero zero. M plus play. That's guitar one. Okay. Guitar two. Five. And of course, you know, you can select the option. English horn. A lot of these waves sound pretty similar, of course. Okay, then you get um, the more fun sounds that are different from the the standard presets. Um, these things have some like uh, sort of octave tremolo um, effects built in. They call they're called electro sound one, two, and three. So electro sound one. One thing is that these these electro sounds are synced to to the drums. Okay. All right. So electro sound two. Okay, um, I'm not going to go through all the different ADSR functions because they're pretty self-explanatory if you want attack and decay time and that sort of thing, but I will go through the, uh, the vibrato and tremolo or at least give you an example. Okay, so let's do go back to the fantasy wave again zero zero nine nine zero and we'll go with like a moderate vibrato and again this is just the rate not the depth of the vibrato so I'll go with five and then zero on the tremolo Okay, and now I'll go with the tremolo. And of course you can combine vibrato and tremolo. And I'll do like the full nine on the tremolo. So the slowest rate. All right.
right, so if you want to sort of get the most kind of extreme sound that you could get out of this, let's go with, uh, let's do Electro Sound 9 as the wave. We'll do Attack Time 9, Decay Time, uh, we'll do uh, 9, Sustain Level 5, Release Time 9. Let's do Vibrato 6. I messed up. Well, let's just fill out the rest of these numbers and see what we get. Oop. What did I do? All right, hang on, I screwed up. Let's start that over. Okay, let's go Electro Sound 9, then a long attack time a long decay time, a moderate sustain level, a moderate sustain time, a long release time, and let's do six for vibrato and seven for tremolo. Let's see how that sounds. <laughs> All right, this video already went on longer than I planned, but um, anyway, so print out little cheat sheets for yourself. That's what mine look like, and uh, have fun. Thank <laughs> you.